everybody. It's Megan Fonfara again, the Client Onboarding Specialist for Midwest Labs. If you are just joining us today and uh, haven't seen video one, which is where I teach you how to create an actual MyLab portal account, be sure to check that out. And today I'm going to walk through the actual sample submittal process. So the key thing at Midwest Labs is sending in proper paperwork. This helps us determine um, not only who you are and what tests you want, but it helps us uh, efficiently get that entered into the system um, and then have your turnaround times be as efficient as possible. So once you get logged into your portal account, You will go here on the left hand side and click on the submit samples button. This is a Midwest Labs account that I'm using. So what we'll lock down. So what you're going to do is select a category. So let's say we're doing agriculture. Let's say we're doing our soil samples. So you'll select agriculture as your first sample drop down. And then for your second, you would enter soil then it's going to come up soil and agriculture. And of course, you just saw me. If any time you need to change that, you hit change and just select something else in those drop down menus. So first one is our industry type and our second one is our actual sample type, so soil. So this page, anything that has an asterisk by it is a required field. So grower, that's whomever the grower is. Um, farm, I mean, this is totally up to you. It's not required, but you can put in whatever you want here for farm as well as field. Don't need an email here and you don't need to use comment unless you need to let us know something or an additional test to add that you might not see in here. So down below, you're going to want to fill out your sample ID. And what sample ID is, think of how you have your samples labeled. So say you're sending us four samples today of soil. We're going to do, we're going to hit that plus button and do three additional samples and click OK. You can also do it um, by just clicking the add sample button one by one. So this is going to give you your four slots to put in your sample IDs. So say it's just one through four that I have them labeled. You can use this little arrow to the right to then populate the rest of them for you instead of typing each one in. That's kind of handy if you have a bunch of samples and they're all sequentially ordered. Over here is your test drop down. So what you're going to do is click on that and let's say you always run the S3C package. The nice thing is if you want to check out the other test packages or maybe don't know what you're sending, you can populate it below and it's always going to go below the test box. That's in case you have multiple tests. You can click on this little I next to the package and it's going to bring up everything that's included in that test package as well as the price. Um, and it's probably saying zero because it's my account, but this is where it would say you're 2650 and uh, you know with Rex or without. You can also add in other packages as well, like like I told you before, so it will populate below and then you can again view what's in that test. So let's say you're going to do these tests on all four samples. Again, just use that. Okay, and you are required to fill in the depth over here to the right. And it's going to be in a digit dash digit be past six inches. So you can again use the arrow to the right. And this is where you can add recommendations. So if you do have a crop, you need to add there. And then if that's the same for each one, again, just use that arrow. Now you'll notice here I have these little orange exclamation points. So I'm going to click on that and find out what's going on. So it says incorrectly formatted fields, example zero through six. So I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I'm just gonna try it one more time. But if something doesn't work, just err on the side of caution and just retype it. But you'll notice once I did that, all those little exclamation points once went away. So when you have everything filled out correctly, there's no exclamation points and also this review order button is lit up so you can click review order. This is going to bring you to a summary page. You just look it over, make sure everything's labeled right. The test packages are your total price. 
is the page that comes up that you would be printing off. So it's got that barcode in the top, has our uh, information here, and of course, all of the um, information you just put in about your samples. So this is all we need in that box with your samples. And it has the address to the lab here, so you know where to ship it. So you just essentially print this page off. You can always go into view documents once you've submitted an order. Here's the order form I just made. I can always go in there, bring that order form up, and then there you go. So this is essential in, like I said, getting proper paperwork sent in. When everything's received and the turnaround time is complete and you have your results, you can log into view reports. And then it will show your um, reports that are in progress. So that means they're not done just yet. And then it'll also view the submittal form originally. So you know what went with which result, but you can click on results at any time and review those. There'll be a checkbox next to your report that you can just select certain reports and then email them to yourself or just download them right here. So, so these two, well, let's download it or view it in a PDF. So that's gonna bring it up in a PDF format and then you can just print it out from there. And I thank you so much. And if you have any questions about the process, my contact information will be here for you. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you.